So I just moved into a new apartment building and I go walking downtown to go exploring and I find out that they're having a carnival down at the local park and I particularly like park carnivals because they have the most delicious junk food all the deep fried stuff with lots of salt and fat and melted cheese on top of everything and cotton candy and all the drinks and the beer and the whiskey they give out for free and so I'm walking around and I find this dunk tank and I notice there's a crowd of kids standing in front of the dunk tank and they're each buying a ticket for a dollar and for a dollar you get three throws at the dunk tank but the guy sitting on the the seat of the dunk tank is not your normal guy with a normal expression where you have some kind of a local mayor or some kind of a local figure like the high school principal or maybe the football coach this guy had a genuine look of worry and anxiety on his face and so I watched to kind of figure out what was going on and these little kids kept throwing and finally one of the kids hit the lever of the dunk tank and the guy dropped into the water and the crowd just Wah! erupted in these massive cheers but as soon as the guy went underwater this kind of cage like shot out <sighs> above him underwater and he drowned in this glass case in front of all these kids and the kids were all cheering and laughing and I'm thinking holy mother fuck dude what happened and so I'm walking around not wanting to ask anybody about it because I'm worried maybe if they if you ask the wrong question then that's how you end up in the dunk tank but it turns out that this small town that's kind of in the mountains is near this prison and they have this overpopulation problem in the prison and once a week they kind of allow a few inmates to escape and then they catch the inmates because there's nowhere to run there's this big forest and there's like this gigantic cliff on the other side of the forest they allow these inmates to escape and then they catch them and every weekend they have a carnival where they raise money for the town with all these different ways that they can torture these inmates to death while, while all the kids have fun learning how to kill adults that are been that have been labeled as the bad people from society so my advice is if you happen to come by this town I would keep driving and not stop because they have some very strange laws there and it's very easy to slip from one side of society to the other from one side of the law-abiding side of society to the other side where they capture you off the street and throw you in the prison and pretty soon you're the one being drowned to death in front of these cheering children as they take a break from their social studies homework. <laughs>